Okay, welcome everybody. Good morning. My name is Suzanne Eid and I'm a member of the VTC committee and co-host of this workshop. Saigon South International School is honoured to be hosting the ninth annual Vietnam Tech Conference in collaboration with UNIS Hanoi. It is my honour on behalf of the VTC committee to introduce you to Yogesh Kumar, who will talk to us about innovative technology in teaching learning process in the upcoming workshop. Yogesh Kumar is an educator, researcher, administrator, leader and innovator in the field of education, serving as a postgraduate teacher in biology in JNV, an autonomous organization under the Ministry of Education, government in India. He is an education policy and an analyst analyst and expert with UNESCO Inclusive Policy Lab, Teach SDG Ambassador and Ambassador of Hunda ED Organization for Finland. His main research and teaching interests are developing innovative teaching, learning methodologies, education leadership and administration, education innovation, STEM education, learning patterns and learning outcomes. He is felicitated with various national and international awards in the field of education. Welcome, Yogesh Kumar. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you are welcome. Thank you uh, once again and uh, a very warm uh, good morning from India. Uh, once again, uh, this is Yogesh Kumar, uh, a postgraduate teacher of biology and uh, a principal in charge from Jawahar Navodhya Vidyalaya, Shimla, Himachal Pradesh, India. Now, I'm saying this because uh, my location is in the Himalayas and it is a remote location. And uh, this school is serving as the leader school at international platforms, so many international platforms, and as a whole, the complete team is uh, introducing, innovating so many things in uh, the field of teaching learning. So today, uh, we are going to talk about the innovative things, innovative teaching learning methodology in the classroom. These points we are going to discuss in our uh, that uh, workshop and how we can make our classroom more interactive. Uh, I hope my screen is visible to all of you. Yes, it's great. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. First, uh, let's start uh, the workshop uh, with a simple note. Uh, what is that? Education, it is, not, uh, it is not the preparation for the life. Education is life itself. And throughout the life, we are learning so many things in one way and the other way. These are the words of John uh, D.V. I am quoting the words because uh, throughout the life, we are learning in one way or the other way. Okay, why uh, the education in 21st century, it is very important. Uh, what are the skills uh, we are stressing upon in the 21st century? Uh, main aim as an educator is to foster the creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, and communication among the learners. And these are the 21st century skills. And as an educator, as a teacher, it is our moral responsibility to inculcate these all the skills among the students. Now, after that, uh, simply, uh, we are talking about innovation, we are talking about pedagogy, we are talking about the teaching learning process, but before that, we should have the clear vision about what is innovation 
and how we can innovate in our classroom. It is not the point that with the help of only and only technology, we can, uh, uh, we can do the innovation. By doing simple things, we can do innovation. But if we include the technology, then we can, along with the, all the things, we can create uh, these simple skills, positive attitude among the learners quite effectively. Now, my point is we cannot teach, uh, uh, we can say, the mobile students with the landline technology because in the 21st century, students are very sharp, very, uh, they are brilliant, they are grasping, they are tech oriented, grasping the things very quickly. Now, before uh, discussing the points, uh, first uh, we should know what is innovation. Simply, how, how we can define the innovation. Innovation, it is an idea. And that idea has been transformed into practical reality. And these all the things we are doing in our classrooms. As a teacher, while we are planning our uh, that lessons, we are just thinking, we are developing certain ideas. And in the classroom, we are, the, uh, we are taking these ideas, we are transforming these ideas into reality. So this is the innovation. And if simply, simply a great teacher is the one who is transforming uh, the things which are in the brain into the classroom and binding the thought process of all the students effectively, then uh, uh, my opinion uh, is that that teacher would be a great teacher who can just uh, grasp the things along with the students. So this is simply the innovation. This is how we can define the innovation. But what is pedagogy before the things uh, pedagogy, it is simply art, science, or the profession of teaching, especially this term is applicable in the field of education. So this is simply the pedagogy. And we are using so many things, so many things in our classrooms, which are coming under the innovative things. Again, uh, there is uh, one definition, which I would like to discuss uh, about, of this pedagogy. Pedagogy, it refers to the method of how the teachers teach in the theory and in practice. Now, so these are the simple things, basic things, which uh, I would like to discuss with all of you. What is teaching? Uh, what is innovation? What is pedagogy? And what are the 21st century skills? And why all these things are important? Uh, first, if we wish that our students should be a global learners, should compete, should be at the top, at a uh, top of the world. So we have to be innovative. We have to include the new, new methods of thinking, new, new methods of teaching in our teaching learning process in our classroom. So on these points, I am going to talk. I'll show you some uh, innovative methods also, which we can use in our classroom quite effectively with the help of technology also and without the help of technology also. Uh, suppose one day uh, technology is not available, right? On that day also, we can just make our classroom a happier, a greater space for the learning of the students. Now, uh, I am coming to the point. Technology, it is playing a very great role in the 21st century classroom. What type of things, what type of apps, what type of softwares we can use in our classroom for making our classroom teaching very effectively. 
one by one, all of all of you know uh, are familiar with some of the techniques, some of the tools. But I will I will share with you one or two very interesting tools and technologies by using which we can make our students a good listener, learner, a creative thinkers, etc. Okay. Now, we are coming to the point, technology in 21st century classroom. So many points I have, I have uh, shown uh, in the pic. Wikis we can use, blogs we can use, podcast we can use, and so many uh, facilities are available free of cost. It is just a matter of thinking. It is just a matter of presentation, involvement on the part of the teacher into the teaching learning process. Now, this is the first thing, wiki, blogs, we can go for that. Skype teaching is there. We can collaborate. Skype teaching, it is a very good for the teaching learning process. We can collaborate globally with the different schools. Uh, we can exchange our ideas. School tubes are there. Teacher tubes are there. YouTubes are available. All of you know. Now, what is there? Even uh, suppose all these things are not available. If we have simple computer PowerPoint presentation, we can go for that PowerPoint presentation and we can engage our students judicially by using PowerPoint presentations, uh, so many softwares for video recording, for voice recording are available, webcasts are there. These are the good resources which a teacher can use in the classroom for the educational purposes. Okay, we can, we can develop uh, short movies, we can take even our classroom out into the, uh, that nature and we can provide the natural thing to our students, uh, natural environment to our students, uh, even with the help of technology or without the help of technology. So uh, just uh, some of the points which uh, I would like to share with you that these were the helpful tools and still these are the helpful tools in the teaching learning process. Okay, after that, uh, again, so many things uh, I have mentioned in this uh, slide, how we can, uh, we can go for the innovation in our classroom, innovation in our teaching learning process. Okay, crossover teaching, this is the simple concept. In that, uh, we are not using so much technology, but if we integrate technology in crossover uh, teaching, uh, simply how we can define this crossover teaching, that concept is related with the integration of different topics into the curriculum. Right, so this is this is the crossover teaching, and we can use this crossover teaching. Suppose we are discussing a topic of a museum, and if we are not able to take the students to the museum, we can use technology, and we can show the virtual uh, field trips, virtual museum to the students. Okay, and we can explain all the things. Uh, to the student by using this method grow across over teaching. Now, second, along with that, uh, this is a simple concept and applicable in all the international schools in all simply uh, that teaching through smart boards. Okay, why only smart boards? Why not uh, with other boards? Because what is their students? They are getting the three-dimensional view uh, with the help of these smart boards. Uh, we can, we can uh, use these smart boards and we can just bind the students into our topic. Flipped classroom, again, this is new concept which is coming, uh, flipped uh, classroom. Very effectively, we can use a flip the classroom collaboration we can do globally uh, through so many things uh, we can collaborate. 
through Skype, we can collaborate. Through Google Meet, we can collaborate. Okay, projects we can do uh, uh, with the different uh, schools. Now, so these are some of the methods simply the schools are using. Now, after that, next is teaching through virtual reality. This is the new concept which is coming uh, nowadays. 3D printing technology. We are just printing the three-dimensional pics and we are showing all these things, 3D printing technology. It is a boon to the education system. Uh, along with that, cloud computing, it is another point which is, which is very uh, worth mentioning here. Cloud computing, 3D printing, technology, virtual reality, simply by using all these things, we can innovate our classroom. We can just uh, create a culture, create an environment in the classroom where the students, they can learn effectively. They can just engage in the system, in the lesson very effectively. Okay, just after that, there is next layer, Next step we can do, that is MOOCs, Massive Open Online Courses. As a teacher, we can develop all these courses. So many free LMS are available. And uh, by using these uh, uh, LMS, we can go for the developing of the MOOCs and remotely also, uh, because what is there? Uh, uh, pandemic is there. We have switched to online teaching, remote learning. So uh, we can go for developing the MOOCs, massive open online courses through the different platforms. And we can provide the real experience to the students through these MOOCs. Gamification, simply, we can use so many softwares are available uh, in the field of education. And this gamification we can include effectively in our classroom. Artificial intelligence that is coming very quickly in our that classrooms. We can judicially use the artificial intelligence and we can make our classroom uh, an interesting place, a fun-filled place, to learn the new things. We can use even the social media. Twitter, it is, uh, it's a good, uh, good uh, media uh, for exchange, uh, sharing of views, uh, sharing of, uh, you can say different resources. And suppose uh, we cannot do all the things on the internet. So many books are available. Digital textbooks are available and we can all use these digital textbooks in our classroom. Even we can develop these digital textbooks in our uh, classroom. Uh, there is one resource I'm very fond of this resource using this uh, technique, technology in my classroom. And uh, I did a research in my classroom by using this mind map technology. And uh, I should say this is a very innovative thing which I did in my classroom. And uh, the result of this research was that the academic performance of the students enhanced drastically because of using the mind maps. Okay, again, simply, uh, I would not like to suggest that you should uh, do this or you should do this. First, according to your classroom, according to your environment, just justify that which tool is uh, judicious, which tool is very easy to use, and then after use that tool or software or technology with the students for the positive outcome. So I used this mind map technology, a very brief, in short, uh, I would like to summarize, I should say, what is mind mapping? I have explained why I am just uh, stressing on mind mapping because of the 
positive outcomes I have uh, developed, I have seen in my classroom. Okay, mind map simple, it is a diagram which is used to visualize and organize information. Now, this mind map can be created by simply pointing a concept in the center and with the help of certain images, with the help of uh, colors, we are just connecting this central concept with the other concepts, other words we can say, other images we can say. And this is very interesting, very creative thing, which uh, the students generally enjoy. And for that mind mapping, so many softwares are available and so many uh, free softwares are available. And I have used Mind Master software also, XMind, MindJet, Mindomo, MindMap, Coggle, The Brain, Vengege. These are some of the softwares which I have used in my classrooms. Uh, what we can do, we can serve uh, all these uh, softwares and we can develop we can use these softwares in our classrooms and we can develop uh, the mind maps. Students are definitely, they will enjoy using the mind maps. Okay, but along with that, there is another just interesting, uh, you can say resource tool, which I am very fond of. That is the buildyourmap.com. This is the uh, website. Uh, which I have used so much for developing the mind map. Okay, why, uh, why uh, I am uh, just using this? Uh, there are certain uh, benefits of uh, this uh, website. First is, it is an online tool. It is free of cost available, and it can be used as web app. This is the main speciality of this site, this tool. And the second thing is, 3D effect, it can be easily created and effectively created by using this site. Okay, I would like to show you the site. Just a minute. I hope uh, my screen is visible to you. Now, this is the look of the website. This is the look of the website and on that website, you can find the different forms, different types, which are available. Now we can go for this as a web app, we can, we can develop. Simply what you have to do, you have to simply create a new user on that site, just just a minute. Now look at this. This is the basic thing, basic background you will get. And with the help of this, uh, we can develop a three-dimensional mind map. Now look at this, this is quite beautiful. And uh, again, my point is there is no point of uh, that worry of using the technology. Now just uh, a bit detail again, uh, I would like to discuss uh, about this resource which we can use in our, uh, that classroom effectively. Okay, now on the left-hand side, you can see uh, so many uh, that uh, bases, windows, and one by one, we can explore these windows. We can go for that knowledge base. We can edit our diagram. We can format the diagram. We can even online search uh, the different items which are available in the category, even this uh, resource is telling 
up to what point we uh, we have memorized or if we project these things to the students up to what percentage they have memorized the things okay notes we can go and uh, like that we can uh, we can add on the different things according to uh, our requirement according to our need. Okay, suppose uh, I am choosing if I uh, wish to change uh, the layout of our mind map, I can change, I can select this layout and like that I, I can change the layout of my mind map. So, so this is quite interesting tool. This is quite easy tool. Uh, to use in the classroom and uh, students uh, definitely they enjoy using uh, these uh, type of uh, tools in the classroom. So many options are available uh, in that resource and even, even what is there, we can download these uh, images as a diagram as a 3D image or as a table. And so many options are available. And because of all these things, uh, I would like to discuss uh, this uh, with all of you. This resource, which is very interesting one, which is very uh, knowledgeable one, which we can use in our classroom quite effectively. So, so these are some of the points, some of the things which I would like to discuss. Uh, I am very much thankful to BTC 2021 organizers for providing me the opportunity to share the things, to learn the new things from all of you. Uh, any question, any interaction, uh, I would be more than happy to interact uh, with all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Yojesh. That was awesome. Thank you very much for presenting. Thank um, you. If there's any questions you'd like to ask, please feel welcome to unmute yourself or put it in the chat. Let's wait. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's wait. Uh, I don't think uh, there is any uh, query or the question, but still, uh, my point is suppose as a teacher, if I do not have any resource, anything, even without that, we can innovate our classroom effectively. We can use the different things. We can show the different things effectively and it is only and only the mind setup which we have to change as a teacher, as a policy maker, as a student, so, so that our future would be a greater one, our world would be a greater place to live. Okay, so we're just about to close the session. Thank you everyone for joining us. And thank you so much to you, Jesh. Thank, thank you so you. much for sharing with us.
And if you'd like to interact with him more, uh, please go to the Hoover app and there's the availability to message him on there as well. Okay. Thank you so much, Yogesh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. I'm going to end the session for us all. Thank you very okay. much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.